to the ground You're dragging me It's constantly No, I I won't make a sound I love the pain It sets me free It's wrong, I can't think right I love the bird below you said Hi guys, welcome back to You and I. For today's video, we're going to be using the Dose of Colors Desi XKD Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like. And we're also going to be using the highlighter, Chasing the Sun highlighter. So let's get started. We're going to start off with the eyes. And to prime the eyes, I am using the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. We're going to just apply and blend it out with our fingers. Afterwards, I like to set it usually with the Laura Mercier, but for this video, I set the lids with the eyeshadow, what is this called? Basic. And I used the Wet n Wild brush. This is like a $1 brush. Legit, legit, it works like if it were a high end so I highly recommend this brush alright for the crease I am gonna be using the necessary shadow this is a neutral brown you're not gonna need anything else but necessary because it's completely necessary for your everyday eyeshadow uh, I am using the Smith number 235 brush it's a crease brush it's pointy and it's perfect for applying blending out your crease color i am so in love and i'm and i'm highly 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 loyal to the smith cosmetics brushes for my eyes if you want a review video just solemnly on the smith cosmetic brushes that i have let me know in the comments down below i'll be more than happy to do that video for you so basically apply this color in small amounts and take your time blending it out you basically want to carve out draw out a crease and pull it out as well to kind of give it that ang like an angled look like a pulled eye look but nothing too extreme you want it to look at the same time to look natural so take your time with it to help the crease color stand out a bit more i went back in with the shade basic uh, and i'm using this marshall's cheap brush that i've been using and i completely love i don't know what brand it is or the name of it i just know that it's pointy and it's flat all right for the next color we're going to be using girl by which is in a red brown tone shadow and I'm going to be using the Smith 253 brush which is perfect to lay down any eyeshadow color um, I like this uh, brush because it is perfect and it's small enough to apply the shadow on the inner corners or the outer corners you know it's just very precise and it's the perfect size to apply any color to a specific area so here I'm applying it to the outer corner using the Smith 230 brush I am going to blend out that color pull it in so basically blend it in and at times when you feel like the brush is clean enough and it doesn't have much of the color you can blend it out but focus mostly on blending it inwards as you can see in the video you definitely have to go back and forth between applying more of the girl by shade and blending it out again eyeshadow color and all of that takes time and takes patience so apply girl by again and blend out and then I do bring it in all the way to the inner corner of my eye I also go in with the Smith 232 brush which is big and fluffy and I use this brush to blur out any harsh lines that I might have made or left with the crease shade let's move on to foundation this is the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless in the shade not 228 never mind 228 is the shade that I was using before and now excuse the noise 
I use the number 312 and I apply it with the Smashbox blurring foundation brush this guys is the perfect brush to apply foundation I have a video on a review that I did for the Smashbox brushes the ones that I own if you are interested in it I'll put a link somewhere here on the video for concealer I thought I'd give this Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation and concealer a try I had it in my pile of makeup and so I used it for the video this is in the shade um, neutral which is a cool neutral uh, tone and I really like the formula it's highly pigmented and it's very moisturizing it it's not drying whatsoever and I really like that I'm gonna have to go um, and buy my matching shade and you know give it a shot and I'll let you know hopefully in another video and just to blend out that concealer I like to use the Smashbox angled powder brush I know it says it's for powder but it's wonderful for blending out even foundation for my entire face I like to use this brush when my other one is dirty but this is a great brush for blending out liquid foundation I highly recommend it and like I always do always blend out your foundation and concealer afterwards with the beauty blender to brighten up the area the under eye area I use the NARS radiant creamy concealer in the shade custard Custard is a, I believe, a, yeah, it's a neutral undertone for medium skin tones. So I really like this shade, but I feel like it's too brightening. I'm going to really have to go and purchase a different shade, something that's not too brightening. And I'll let you know if I do buy it and I end up using it. But that's on my list to purchase ASAP. And again, go in and blend out the concealer with the angle brush. I first cleaned that off a little bit just to remove the previous concealer shade that I used on my face on the under eye and to set it I am gonna be using the always trusting Allura Mercier translucent powder here I went back in and I blended out the shadow on my lid a bit more you know when you put foundation on it, it helps kind of get a better view of what your eyeshadow looks like so I went back in for lip liner this is an old Chanel lip liner I think it's like a bronzy cafe bronzy brown color I don't know the exact name but this is the color the lip liner that I always use to outline my lips because my lips are dark and this is the shadow this is a shadow this is the lip color that best complements my um, outer lip lines my lip line my lips my dark lips <laughs> So for lipstick, I use the ABH lipstick in the shade Stouch. Stouch. I don't know how to pronounce it. I I'm really, really good at um mispron mispronouncing words, as you can tell. But yeah, it's it's I think Stouch. I think that's how you pronounce it. I love this shade. I use it like on an everyday basis. So try that shade. It's beautiful. And given that my lips are very dark, and they can look like this. If you have dark lips, you should definitely try this lip color. Let me know if it works out for you, and I hope it does. Okay, enough about the lips. We're going to move on to the blush, and I am using the Milani Bellissimo Bronze. This is an affordable blush, and it's a beautiful color for medium skin tones. I, myself, am a fan of this shadow. It's not a shadow, of this shade. I'm a fan of this shade, so definitely try it out and I do use it on an everyday basis I it's an everyday color not it's not too intense and it's perfect it's just perfect I completely forgot to apply bronzer before the blush so here I am applying the hula bronzer from benefit with a Chanel brush this is like a powder brush it's an angle brush so I like to use it to apply to apply the bronzer um, it works um, you can definitely try a smaller angled brush for the bronzer but here I am applying my bronzer on top of my blush so because I did that you're gonna have to go in with your blush brush and blend out the bronzer and the blush together so that it doesn't look all crazy 
and of course apply some to the forehead if you got a huge forehead definitely use a bunch of bronzer I don't have a huge forehead so I just barely apply it to my forehead I just really apply it to be honest to the hairline to kind of give it that bronzy shade and now for the other star of the show I am finally using the highlighter chasing the sun which is like a golden a bronze it's beautiful beautiful what I like to do is apply it to the brush and just tap it off blend it out a little bit warm it up to the back of my hand and then apply it to the high points of the cheekbones I always love to use it on the uh, cupid's bow and I also I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add the clip and I do add it to the inner corner of my eyes to give it that pop so look at this do you like this this is so like natural looking it doesn't look fake it looks like your natural glow from within like it's a nice summer and you're just glowing everything about your face is glowing I felt like the eyes needed another little pop of color so I went in with a try me which is a cranberry red shade with a little bit of burnt orange shift and I applied it to the lower lash line I mainly applied it to the inner corner and just halfway out not all the way you know what I think I did you know what I did I did I applied it all over the lower lash line and I went back in and applied more of the lip liner all right guys I hope you guys liked the video don't forget to subscribe and till next time